Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in my happy place, deep in the Surrey Hills of uh, outstanding natural beauty. And a village I've driven through many times before, been to the old Saxon church only last year. I'm in the village of Albury, just by Albury Park and Albury Estate. And we're gonna have a little walk around the village before lunch at the Drummond. Here we go, Tillingbourne here, lovely. Let's have a little walk around and it's a gloriously warm day. It's like 20, 21 degrees today um, and it's only like half 10. So it's gonna be very nice. Let's go. The earliest mention of Albury is in the uh, Doomsday Book of 1086, but it's an ancient settlement, a very ancient settlement. I'll link the videos to um, the nearby Farley Green in the Roman villa, the silent pools nearby. So lots of historic sites. So I'll link all them below. I was only there last year, actually. And the Saxon church of St. Peter and St. Paul's, which is not used for worship anymore. I've been there very many times uh, over the last couple of years. So that's also in a video from last year, which I'll link in the same video. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the new church of uh, St. Peter and St. Paul's. You've got a very busy road coming through the village, the Western, Western Road. Um, because the whole village was moved in the 1800s from where the Saxon church was down here, which is now part of, obviously over there is Albury Park. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, traffic coming through. So excuse the noise unless I put music on. It's a bit windy today, but other than that, it's all good. Let's go for a walk. Converted flat from an old mill. I was saying about an ancient settlement, it actually goes back to Mesolithic times. So, really, really ancient. Those fantastic chimneys up there. Look at that, aren't they fantastic? How they're designed. Here and now, sit fixed apart. Someone tell me, lay it out. Where we went wrong in our doubt. Holding hands here with our sons. So plead for everyone. Singing grace and peace to you. Mirrored fangs and helpless youth. We were once a righteous few Look deep and spit the truth What have we become? What have we become? What have we become? What have we become? So let's walk up to the St. Peter and St. Paul's Church, the new one. Although the Saxon Church, which is no use, longer used for um, worship, I think they still have weddings there, and managed by the uh, Church's Conservation Trust. But it's probably my favourite church in Surrey, really is. And I think there's a str strong earth energy current that goes through there, because I always get a bit of a wash when I, when I walk through. But uh, yeah, that's all linked below. Yes, there's the round house. The round house, that's superb, look at that. Blackheath Lane, we're not going that way though, we're going up this way to the church, which isn't far. Oh, 
a Tudor cottage probably. That looks old. Seen a couple of people already out, sort of just mowing their lawns, chilling out, saying good morning, good morning, what a lovely day. This is the warmest it's been so far this year. I think we're hit 21 degrees today. Summer is on its way. And this is a couple of days ahead of my trip down to Lewis, um, which would be great. Looking forward to that. Loads of videos coming from there. Let his car past. That car looks older than my one. Uh, yeah. So this is the new church, built in 1842, to replace the old one. I doubt it'll be open. Oops. I'm not overly impressed with the design. Listen to me like I'm some architect. <laughs> yeah, it's a church I'm not getting a vibe with. What I mean by a vibe is doesn't feel right to me. I don't know, it's in a glorious setting. Don't get me wrong, it's in a glorious setting. I mean, looking out onto the Surrey Hills, ain't too bad, is it? But, um, yeah, just not getting it. Not getting it. I mean, look at that view. I mean, that is fantastic on a day like this. pheasant, probably from the Wotton estate. Now, you're not going to see it from here because I'm using the GoPro and it's on a fixed lens and... Thank you. But right in the distance, on top of that hill, is St Martha's Church, which you need to do again. St Martha's Church, right up on the top of St Martha's Hill. A new church and an ancient church within a, st well, a stone throw of each other, more or less, up a steep climb. Thank you, 11 o'clock. Do you know what? I can't come up this way and not go to the Saxon church once more. I know I was only there last year, but I just feel the need to revisit, which I wasn't planning to do, because I've done videos from there before. But I've got a bit of time to kill before lunch. How do you fancy going back over to the St. Peter and St. Paul's church? A Saxon church. Yeah, let's go. There you go, St Peter and St Paul's Church. Here's all over the place. Uh, this ancient church is maintained by the Church's Conservation Trust, which with money provided by Parliament, by the Church of England, and by gifts of the public. So, great. Into the lovely old porch. 
here we go. Yeah, I think this gets my vote, along with Chaldon Church, as my favourite church in Surrey. Saxon in origin. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, if you've seen my other videos from here, but it's just such a wonderful place to come to, especially on a beautiful day like today. Word like this. William Althred, 1573 to 1660, buried in the ruined uh, chancel. Mathematician and tutor to Christopher Wren. Rector of Albury for 50 years, 1610 to 1660. So yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely stunning, this church. So many different styles, but I say, a lot of it is still Saxon. This lovely stonework, a lot of restoration. Beautiful bay window. Really, if you're anywhere around Albury Park, do come and visit. It's always open, which is great. A lot of walkers come through here. Mm, didn't get a wash this time. The last two times I've come here, because it could be an earth energy current coming through, because I always say, why are these ancient buildings and sacred buildings built where they were? But I didn't get a wash that time. Interesting. This lovely old chest that's going back to, what, 1660s? Probably 1600s, I would think. And, of course, the Roman font drum, which was excavated from the Roman temple at Farley Heath, which obviously is linked into the video below. That's fantastic, look at that. I mean, there's not much to see at Farley Heath. It's just the ground plan, really, because um, it is Roman. But um, still very, very interesting to see. These fantastic old doors, look at them. Probably not that old, they're probably 1800s, I would think. I could be wrong. Into this little uh, chapel, which is lovely. I never normally do this, I'll write something into the book here. Um, it's the 12th of April today. Uh, English. I'm not going to actually say on YouTube. Uh, put Sutton. My favourite church. Church in Surrey. And there you got some medieval wall paintings up there. They've been uncovered, a little whitewashed over during the Reformation. And here we've got a, a, a brass um, of a lovely night. I do like brasses. There's a piscina, circa 1300, little piscina. Actually, I'm glad I came in now. So I wasn't as intended to come here. I'm glad I did now. Um, such a beautiful old church. A lot of restoration work done, as I can show you here. Restoration of the chancel. Before, oh my God, it wasn't a sad day of repair. During and after. What fantastic renovation work. Even the old flooring. Wonderful. To think the village was around this church, and then they just moved it a mile, not even a mile down the road. 
So Albury Stake can be here and Albury Park. I wonder if that pissed off the villagers, I don't know. It's very nice. There's a couple of hatchment up there as well. Hatchment, if I can see it. The Morel, Morel Monument, 1652 that is. Underneath is the vault of William Riss Bridger. Can't really read that. Albury, a short parish guide. Once again, I didn't bring any money out with me. So I'm not going to um, pick up anything. Well, someone's left uh, two pound there. Shouldn't that go in the box? So someone left their two pound out, probably not knowing where to go, and it goes in here, so I'm going to put it in there for them. There we go. Well, thank you once again, the original St. Peter and St. Paul's Church. How fabulous to be back here. Um, what we're going to do now, head back down into Albury and have lunch at the Drummond. I think Drummond was the Lord of the Manor who moved all the villagers down to the other part of the, of the village, into the new part of the village and the new church. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so the old village was called Weston before it became sort of the New Albury. So I didn't call it New Albury, but there you go. It's called Weston. So yeah, lovely. What a lovely day. Okay, pub. Okay, so let's end this video over the River Tillingbourne here in Albury. Lovely pub lunch at the uh, Drummond, which was really delicious. Nice pie I had. Oh, it's so peaceful here. And now the sun's shining. This is the warmest day of the year so far, 21 degrees, and it's only April the 12th. So I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you on the next one, which will be from our little visit to Lewis. Can't wait. Take care. Mm -hmm.